The Inside Bypass Road is a crucial infrastructural project aimed at improving transportation connectivity between the east and western regions of Freetown. However, the relentless downpour has caused sections of the road to be entirely blocked by landslides and debris. Large amounts of mud and rocks have tumbled down from the hillsides, effectively closing off one side of the road, forcing all vehicles, including tricycle riders, to squeeze into the remaining available lane. Right behind me is a place that was greatly affected by the heavy downpour yesterday. This place that you can see used to abort a zinc structure that was used as a center for selling food to people here in the Upper East Street community. But due to the heavy downpour, this structure was demolished and is nowhere to be Speaking to the contractor of camera, he said, the company has tried its best to dig the gutter so it could accommodate the water coming from the hills. But people living at Upper Eastern Streets use the gutter to dump their rubbish that disturbs the movements of the water. Residents in the vicinity have expressed their concerns and frustrations over the current situation. Fatma Takoruma and Lukman Gaima are residents in the Upper Eastern Streets. They dispute the claim that community people are throwing dirt in the gutters. Rather, according to them, the waterway was not properly dug and the contractors were refusing to listen to them. I know what the nice thing is with us, obviously. But if we make big water, we can make the water go down. We are not saying people don't throw dirt in the gutters, but the contractors are very stubborn. We told them to dig the gutter properly so that water can move freely. This is affecting us greatly. We need help. So we direct to the Omega. They say not today. For the past decade, it don't cause problem now. This also they told them past year, see the road now. This also this also goes for good. This has been an old age problem for us in this community. We have been complaining for the culvert to be dug deeper so the water could pass through, but nothing has been done. We want CSE to do it for us, or else this problem will continue. Paul Mamisamba, the chief in the Upper Eastern States community, said, As a community, they have been trying for the culverts to be dug, so people can stop suffering whenever it rains. I don't explain this over and over, but they know they listen to it. For the past years, we have been advocating for this place to be dug properly. We have had several meetings with authorities concerned to ensure that is done, but to no avail. We want the government to help us as we have been asking. CSC, the company responsible for constructing the road, has quickly responded to the crisis, dispatching teams of workers to clear the debris and restore normalcy on the Eastside Bypass Road. As the recovery and repair work progresses, residents of Upper Eastern Street are eagerly waiting for a definitive solution to this recurring problem. SLBC News, Esther Sako reporting.